Hello everyone, today let's discuss the electronic circular die crystal calculations and their applications in the assignment of the absolute stereo structures for natural products. To unambiguously assign the absolute configurations of natural products, a variety of spectrum such as NMR and X-ray and chemical approaches such as Moshe's reaction have been developed and each with its own limitations. When chiral compounds possesses appropriate electronic circular dichrenzo, may provide a powerful approach to the determination of their absolute configuration. In this talk, I will briefly discuss what is ECD spectrum and how apply this method to assign the absolute stereo chemistry, and then end this talk by discussing one application. When polarized light is passed through a chiral sample and the light is observed, there are two physical phenomena that can be measured. One is called the circular by refrigerance which measures the difference in the refractive indices and result or D curves. The other parameter is called circular dichroism, which measures the difference in the molin extinction coefficients when right and left circularly polarized light passes through the sample. When this difference is plotted against the wavelength, a CD curve results. There are three different spectrum of the both initiomer of camphor suffering acid. The blue lines are the UV visible absorption. The green curves are the ORD spectrum. And the red lines are the CV spectrum. For both initiomers, their UV visible absorptions are the same, while the ORD and CV spectrum for one initiomer are mirror images of the same curves for the other initiomer. Different from the ORD, the CD absorption only happens at the same wavelength as the UV visible absorption. ECD calculations have been used for the determination of absolute configurations of natural products for decades. However, its use was quite limited until the major advance in the ECD calculations of time-dependent density functional theory TDDFT, was introduced which resulted in a good compromise between computational costs and accuracy. Generally, ECD calculations and the absolute configurations assignments could be divided into three steps. Firstly, the conformational analysis of the compound gives the possible conformers. Secondly, calculating the UV ECD spectrum based on TDDFT for each conformers, and the UV ECD spectrum of the conformers are Boltzmann averaged. Then, the averaged UV spectrum are shifted to conform to the experimental UV spectrum. Then, these shifts are applied to the corresponding calculated ECD spectrum before comparing the calculated ECD spectrum with the experimental ECD of the natural products. Finally, comparing the experimental ECD data with the calculated ECD data to draw the conclusion. Here, let's look at one example how ECD works for the assignment of the absolute configuration of the lenso dipling B. Lenso dipling B is a sulfur containing natural product isolated from fungus, and its relative configuration was determined by extensive AMR measurements. Accordingly, its absolute configuration could be either 2R5R or fully opposite 2SFIs. Due to its physical properties, Lenso Dipling B failed to obtain a single crest crystal X-ray crystallography. In order to address its absolute configuration, the ECD was applied in its isolated paper. Firstly, the author did the fully 
geometry optimization for each initial MERS. Using DFT and polarizable container model as solvent model, then based on the ground state optimized geometries, time-dependent DFT was carried out to calculate the span alloyed excitation energy and the rotatory strength of the lowest 100 excited states. And the calculated UV ECD spectrum could be generated using the program SpecDays, which is a free software developed by Thomson Broom. This software could be easily downloaded and installed from the website. Then, 13 nanometer UV correction was applied to the corresponding calculated ECD spectrum. From the comparison of the experimental data and the calculated ECD spectrum, it's easy to say that the absolute configuration of the Lanzo Deepling B is 2R5R.